A Haunting Have you seen the horror movie A Savannah Haunting? Kalani Ghost Hunter stayed inside the home that this horror film is based on and was filmed in. Check the place out. While live streaming their stay, the Instagrammer captured this image, which they think is a little girl ghost. Do you see it? Although I didn't catch the live stream, some in the comments did, and they insist they saw the ghost girl move. Almost everyone in the comments sees it, but I can hardly make it out. Still, I don't doubt this place is haunted. It looks like the real deal. Number 20. Nothing good happens at 3 a.m. This TikTok posted by Diego Speckers is yet another example of that. Just watch. Wow, that's pure nightmare fuel. What was that child doing there, amongst the hanging laundry? <laughs> its black inky eyes are a real giveaway. This thing's a demon. As the person backs off, you see it again for a split second in the gap. But there's nothing below for this thing to stand on. Don't know about you, but I think this is the real deal. Definitely a demon. Another reason to leave 3 a.m. to the owls. A creeping patch of darkness spreads without a sound over an unknown location, possibly someplace near the beaches of Malaysia. And then an underwater creature is caught on camera, doing some scary things that no one can explain. The giant underwater creature appears to be on the verge of breaking the surface at 23 seconds. There's a wave of displaced water that has everyone in the comments further vexed and perplexed. Some say this shimmering effect is a school of fish evading a predator. I would agree with this except not a single one jumps out of the water. The most eerie supernatural explanation offered is a Malaysian phenomenon called Salor Baidar, a name for underwater paranormal activity in which someone is instantly pulled to the bottom of the river by a spirit without warning. Apparently it looks a lot like this which I find scary to think about. The bizarre moment passes but they don't stop filming until more unexplained activity is caught on video. The mysterious shape bubbles to the surface once more at 58 seconds, and here at 1 minute and 3 seconds, I think it briefly breaks through. It could be the back of a whale or something, but it kind of looks like some kind of liquid on top of the water, like an oil spill. The person who actually caught this bizarre sighting says it's a video of a mysterious sea creature, but never does he provide additional backstory. This unexplained video has been stumping the internet since it was first uploaded on June 8, 2018. No update has been provided, and I could find no other similar scary situations caught on tape. Let's put our heads together and figure out once and for all what this unsolved mystery really was. This house, Morn Hill Camp, served as a transit point for troops on the Western Front during World War I. The YouTube team Ghost Theory investigates this haunted officer's house. A steady cam that they set up in one of the rooms starts to move. You can also hear strange, unexplained noises in the background. Then later they capture a man's scream. There's clicking.
One viewer also points out this strange mist or dust that seems to shift across the room. We have so many questions. And we've heard you before, so we know that you're here and you can do this. Is the officer lurking about? I believe that's his scream, and I don't know if I want to know what caused it. Number 11 is high. Next time you're in nature, take a closer look at your camera roll. You might just catch a forest spirit. Redditor I like Toby Maguire says that he thinks Bro wants to say hi in this pic captured at the forest's edge in North Carolina. Do you see it? Look closer. Many in the comments think the spooky face is either photoshopped or is pareidolia. While I could definitely see this being edited, I also think it's possible that it's a bubble floating past, or it could just be the newest, creepiest, scary movie villain. If this photo is real, I'd be staying far away from that forest. Number 18. With her camera recording, a girl kneels before a darkened doorway and challenges a spirit to touch her. A light passes over the room and her hair is brushed over her shoulder as if someone is passing through. I find this video hard to believe because that definitely looks like a flashlight coming from the other room based on the way it hits the wall beside her in a concentrated circular beam. With that said, it still doesn't explain how her hair moved with no one nearby. Let me know if this effect is possible to do in Photoshop, or whether or not you think this is real. If it is real, then I have no idea why she would want to summon something so powerful in her own home. The state line bridge connects Virginia to North Carolina, but locals call it Satan's Bridge due to the large amount of rich activity going on under there. A YouTuber named Scary Weather made a documentary about it almost 20 years ago and recently came across the footage again. The first half of the video shows nothing but animal bodies littering the ground, which I can't show here. He then comes back the next day and videotapes all of the weird graffiti and other ritualistic scenes, like these five rocks for example. If you happen to know what this symbol means, or what enchantments were being cast here, then please share what you know, and also tell me what the white paint means here, because I honestly can't even begin to guess. Um, also you see here uh, five stones uh, with a white mark in them. This part of the bridge looks like it could be some sort of altar. There's a huge dark red stain on the ground that trails off into tiny blotches. Something tells me that's probably not paint, but let me know what you think. There's one last fact about this location that I have to tell you. Now, I'm not a numerical conspiracy theorist by any means, but the identification number of this state bridge happens to be 6906. If you take out the zero and flip the middle six, you get three sixes in a row. For a long time, this office webcam video in Lewiston, Idaho has caught weird things on camera between the hours of midnight to 2 a.m. Strange objects like orbs and other creepy stuff. One night, the webcam glitches out really bad and starts picking up odd specks of white light shortly before this mysterious figure is caught on camera with one arm raised. The apparition gets bigger as it presumably floats closer to the camera. The person who uploaded this says the building has a history of paranormal sightings. Maybe what we're seeing now is exactly what was haunting them. Freaky, right? We've all been warned never to pick up hitchhikers, but that advice especially goes for paranormal ones. This dash cam footage was posted in July of 2019. The dash cam's clock shows that the clip was taken around 2 in the morning. If you blink, you'll miss it, so pay careful attention. Driving down a dark and empty highway, the car is traveling at a fairly fast speed when, off to its right, in the empty lane, appears a figure. Some say it has its thumb out for 
a ride? Do you see it? Is it a ghost? Or is it just a regular person with a bad wish? After all, who hails a ride in the middle of the road during the darkness of night? Only someone who's looking to get run over, or at least doesn't mind testing fate, whether ghost or real boy. This isn't something you want to see while driving down a dark road at 2am. It might very well send you into a terrified tailspin, making you the next ghost on the highway. On January 15th, 2013, YouTuber Mr. Hutch 117 posted this strange sound heard in the forest I want to be out in the where did it come from we're in the middle of nowhere the man filming asks the man believed it was coming from up above somehow though it also seems to come from every direction he and his hiking partner had just heard a noise that was a bit off-putting he decided to turn on his phone's video to capture the sound if they heard it again halfway through the footage you can hear why they were concerned the sound sounds off again, and it seemed like the guttural laughter of a demon. Then comes on a deep and echoey wailing, something that's not human, not animal, not anything known. viewers think it must be fake because the people in the video are reacting much to the frightening sound. Others suggest it could be related to the mysterious trumpet-like noises heard worldwide, and some say it could be the US government project HARP. What do you think it is? Well, we've all heard the story of Ol' Nessie, aka the Loch Ness Monster. You haven't seen anything like this footage. Published by Mark Hayes in October of 2014, the mythical creature surfaces in this scary video. The footage shows something large adrift in the middle of Loch Ness. The enormous creature breaks the surface with its eel-like body. It weaves around the lake, coming closer and closer toward the camera. Birds fly down appearing to land on its back for a moment before flying off again. The creature's body even seems to curve up out of the water. While I've never seen a more convincing Nessie video, skeptics in the comments have me questioning things. Some commenters say it moves too rigidly and mechanically, and is more likely to be an underwater cable or a water dredge system utilizing a hose. Others think it could be an animal, not a monster, with Sue Copening writing. Recently, they have found eel DNA in the locks in great numbers. Nessie could simply be members of a large species of eel, or perhaps eels. Is that all Nessie is? A gigantic eel? It certainly has me questioning things. It's 2.10 a.m. on September of 2015. This individual is fast asleep in their bed, as anyone might expect to be at such a late hour. Posted to YouTube by the Gender Uwo in April of 2019, the video shows a man tossing and turning in his sleep, normal restlessness. At one point, he pulls the covers up over his head. A short while later, he turns onto his side. All normal, but what's abnormal is the body shape that appears to be sleeping next to him. After rolling to his side, the man notices the unwelcome company under the covers. He starts feeling what looks to be a solid form beside him. Appearing startled, he gets out from under the covers, patting the blanket up and down, before pulling it clean off his bed. As you likely suspected, there is nothing beneath it. Further footage in the man's apartment shows a strange blurred shadow figure cross from a hallway to another room in the home. The same sort of shadow figure is seen again in the footage from another hallway in the apartment. What do you think? Is it time to move? Probably should just in case. Don't know about you, but I'd do whatever was in my power to avoid sharing my bed with an unwelcome ghost. Wreckful is a streamer and YouTuber, and in this video, he is live streaming in the streets of Japan. It's late at night and the streets are almost completely deserted. Wreckful soon notices that he is being followed by a man wearing a surgical mask. Wait, I'm on follow. I'm gonna flip the camera. Wreckful 
Rekful begins to look genuinely afraid as he stops himself from panicking. He ultimately decides to run when he turns the corner. I'm running. He eventually stops and confronts this potential stalker. It turns out this man is a fan of Rekful and was wanting to scare him as a joke. Rekful is still clearly shaken up from the incident while talking to his follower and his friend. While it turns out Rekful was in no danger, the confusion of being followed by a stranger is certainly frightening. There's something more to this cemetery than what meets the eye. Published by KBC Casadora. Stories de Fantasmas in January of 2022. Crew senses a presence at the Seaway Cemetery. As they're wandering through the grounds, something makes a sound behind the wall. <laughs> They all run to different parts of the wall to try and look in. Nothing is beyond it. Later, a strange light flashes, again from behind the wall in the graveyard. No. Thank you, Something is sinister here, but I'm not sure what. Poltergeist. A subscriber contacted YouTuber Kolya of Seeker of Ghosts with a complaint of a poltergeist causing havoc in his apartment. Kolya heads to the place to investigate and to spend a sleepless night. With some candles, he asks the spirit to show itself. It is here. Not long after, it makes a bigger fuss. After shaking the desk and flickering the lights, the poltergeist starts throwing things. As he tours the home, more activity occurs in the next room. And then, this happens. Something is angry here, but as this is the end of the video, we won't see how that anger escalates. But if I had to guess, I'd say Kolya will get no sleep tonight. Number 7 A camping trip goes from relaxing to terrifying after a series of bizarre lights leaves one camper sure that he's being watched. There, they're, they're started again. Whoa! These unexplained lights continued with no sound well into the night. And no, it's not lightning from afar if that's what you were thinking. He is pointing the camera straight ahead, not up in the sky. It's crossing the screen. But you're gonna want. Whoa! Now, did you see what I'm talking about? This part shows less detail, but the angle proves that this is not lightning at all. This is where it, it kind of creeps me out. Oh! There it is again. No lightning, because it's the same area every time and there's no clouds anywhere. There's a clear sky. He makes it through the night and later reflects that something, paranormal or otherwise, was trying to set a trap for him. He's glad he chose not to explore that area. So that strange incident took place in September of 2015. I want you to compare that video incident to another video taken two years later by someone completely different. These wispy lights appear at the same height and look exactly the same. The silent show has the same amber glow when zoomed in. This time the lights are more frequent and hang around for longer than before. What could cause such a flash in the night is beyond me, and beyond creepy too. And then something new happens. 10 minutes and 46 seconds is when three white lights form and hang in the sky. If you connect the skylights, you'll see they take the shape of a flying triangular disc. The light in the middle grows brighter as it turns to meet his camera, and then the giant slow-moving maneuvers itself away from him. 
Out of sight, the lights are definitely moving as one and never do they break shape or formation. And when you go to the comments section, you'll see it's flooded with people from all over the world who say they have seen the same strange lights at night in their area and come across this video looking for an explanation. None of them have ever provided a satisfying answer and the unexplained lights persist. Mr. Fairy is exploring the haunted PLKN building, a youth program in Malaysia that's said to be haunted ever since a mysterious case of mass food sickness led to the abandonment of the whole program. He's caught some creepy moments 17 minutes into the live stream when someone donates. His camera freezes and the image whitens as something passes by. The only time his camera seems to freeze is when paranormal activity is happening in front of him. He runs into the room it was literally just in and the ghost is gone. There's no jump cut editing and this was on live stream, so the figure should have still been there if it was a person. He stands outside of the window to see if it will return. The figure is in the next room. Now is the chance for a paranormal encounter up close. By the time he gets back, he needs to lay down and think about what he just saw. Apparently being surrounded by that much paranormal energy has drained all of his. This home surveillance footage has been circulating around the internet, but I'm trying to figure out if it's fake or did this woman have her home surveillance hacked? After all, there have been many cases of that happening over the last couple years. If that's the case, it's super scary to think this woman is being watched by an unknown person without her knowledge and without any context. You would never know that scenario is a real possibility. What do you think? Is this real or fake? Bill Mass, YouTube team The New Reality Paranormal is investigating a haunted general store, and inside they hear and see some unexplained things. First, as they enter, footsteps are heard. It said wave. It just said wave. And right after, a voice. Okay. Said so rat. Yeah. You, you're now you're calling names or what? You're resorting to calling people names. Was that a voice? What? I swear to that was a voice. Is somebody in here? It seems like it to me, especially after seeing this white orb drift past just as Sean says he's feeling nauseous. Like, I almost feel nauseous. Whoa. Back of my neck is. No, no, dude, 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 dude. I am catching it on film right now. I think there's a reason Sean is queasy. A spirit just traveled straight through him. Number three. Two friends sneak into a large abandoned house in Sellersburg, Indiana and take a look around. They don't go into much detail about the local legends aside from mentioning this place has a long haunted history that dates back three decades, so they should be ready for anything. Most of the rooms are littered with nothing but rotting garbage, but a couple spaces look to be somewhat organized and even have furniture, so they start calling out to anyone who might be inside. Hello? Is anybody here? It isn't long before someone hears their calls and silently responds. 
dude, this is creepy. Oh my god, get the f out! Get the f out! Oh my god! Oh my god! A tall figure wearing a Michael Myers mask passes by the doorway without a sound. Obviously, Michael Myers is a Hollywood legend and not a real person, but that doesn't mean there isn't someone who idolizes him a little too much. This could be a fake video or maybe this is an imitator who dresses like this to keep intruders out of their home, in which case that blade might be real. Thank you so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 60,000 subscribers next. Thank you.